In this video, I'm gonna show you how to embed a Google Calendar and the one secret step that most people miss that makes their embeds not work. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture and learn how to embed Google calendars the right way. I'll see you there. So I'm currently at calendar.google.com. If you already have calendars, they will appear here after you sign in. If you don't have any yet, you can easily create an account and make some calendars or sign into an existing Google account and create calendars. Now there's two ways to get to the share code. One is better than the other. So if, if we hover over any of the calendars on the left-hand side here, click on that down arrow, go to calendar settings. This is one way to get at the share code. However, that doesn't help us get to the permissions area because there's no permissions to be set in here. If we save, cancel, or click back to calendar, it goes back to here and we think everything's fine, but it's actually not. So what we have to do is click on this gear up here for the overall settings. Click on settings there. Then click on calendars at the top. And beside the calendars that can be shared, we have a sharing column and there's a shared edit settings, shared edit settings. So if I click into shared edit settings, we wanna make sure we choose make this calendar public. Otherwise it can't be seen on your website unless you're signed in to your Google account. So this is a calendar just for your team and you know they're all gonna be signed in to the Google accounts when they visit your site, that works fine. But if this is for the general public, you're gonna to have to make sure you have this box checked. And I click on save. Yes, we wanna make it public. And now we have our calendars here. Same list as before, just looks a little different. If we click on the calendar name, we then go back into this area with our iframe code, which is right here. Copy all of it. Then we take that code. In my case, I'm in WordPress, but this works for any website where you have the ability to add HTML. So I'm just gonna to go to a page, click on add new. You'd create the page how you need to in your platform, possibly WordPress, so it'd be the same way. We want to type in calendar up here. Make sure we're on the HTML tab instead of the visual. Click into here and click paste. And you may have to play with the width and the height depending on your theme. What I recommend you do is you save it or you publish the page, you go and look at it. If it ends up being too big for the area that you have available, come back in here, change the height and the width. It's really simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now actually. So we're gonna open this calendar and here is how it looks. A lot of stuff going on and that's our calendar. Now, if we go back, we can make it narrower. So we make the width 500 pixels. Click on update, then click on refresh and we see our calendar is now much narrower. So it can fit into the space that you have available, which is pretty sweet. To take that a little bit further, something else you can do to make it fit into your website better is change its appearance. So this color scheme might be way off of what your website is and it might be terrible to look at. So what we can do is go back to our calendars and I'm still in this calendar page where we had the iframe code. If we click on this link right above here called customize the color, size and other options, we are taken to a fancy little page where we can customize a bunch of different things. So the height and width, which we can easily do outside of this editor. We can change the default view to be just the week or the whole month, which it's currently at, or agenda, change the height and the width. We can uncheck these boxes if we don't want them to appear. So if we don't want this week, month, agenda where people can choose themselves, we can just click on tabs and they go away. The print icon, maybe we don't want to let people print it. Uncheck that, print icon's gone. Go down, choose what the week is on. These are all pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you can figure this stuff out. Background color, make it whatever you want. Make that the green instead of the whole background. And you can even use CSS to do even more work on it beyond what Google allows you to do in here. And then when you're all done changing it to whatever you want, this is a new calendar code. It's not the same as the old one. So we're gonna click on copy. Bring that back to our page, paste it in here, update this page, refresh. And now we have our calendar with the change settings. Now to do your own custom CSS, it's a little more work, but we can inspect any of these elements 
and this isn't the point of this video because I don't even know if you want to do custom coloring, but you can come in here and we can change the background color or color for anything really. Background color to red. So that's red now. And you can go through and, and define the styles that you want all over this calendar using CSS. And like I said, it's not part of this video. If you want me to do a video on CSS styling for Google Calendars, let me know down below. So that's all there is to embedding calendars on your website, WordPress site, or any other site where you can do HTML edits. And you want to make sure that you allow the calendar to be viewed publicly, otherwise this won't work. So that's all there is to embedding Google Calendars. Make sure you don't miss that one step setting it to public, otherwise this will not work. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. And next up is watching one of these videos that just popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.